Warning, this video has mild profanity, offensive references to nudity, and children seeing that nudity. But it was an accident, so don't look into it too much. If you are under the age of Insert consenting age here. Then please, turn back now. You have been warned. Greetings, game girls and game boys. I am Contemplate, and this time on Stuff I Play, we are playing Christmas Dad Stimulate Simulator. <laughs> Let's do this. All right. Sweet MP3 player to add. Your, your iPod library is just growing massively. Let's see. Okay. <clears throat> Christmas Dad Simulator. Welcome to Christmas Dad Simulator. Today is Sep... Oop, that's that. I'm still learning how to read. This is something I need to learn how to do if I'm going to be a voiceover artist, a voice actor of sorts. Welcome to Christmas Dad Simulator. Today is December 23rd. It's Christmas time in your household. Your name is Roy, and you are fiddling with an iPod. Your wife Linda appears in front of you. Roy, is that an iPod? Never mind. Where are you going to put the lights? Are you freaking serious? I've got curling practice tonight. I'm on it. I've just finished these graph paper diagrams. Time to bring it, bring these blueprints to life. Yes. Yes, we are a Christmas dad. You made blueprints? I've been very busy, so I... I got a little creative. Get creative. Come on, guys, let's get creative! Get creative! Okay, uh... Just get outside and put the lights up, please. Okay, love you! You head out to the garage, intending to find the Christmas lights, but instead, a live deer is staring down in your drive, staring you, staring you down in your driveway. The buck has fire in his eyes. It's aggress it aggressively snorts and lowers its head. Snakes in hell, easy girl. Charge it. Snakes in hell, easy girl. It rams your house and runs away. You are utterly confused. Oh my god, this is a brand new sighting. I can't believe this! Deer, get out! Get out of my life, deer! Just light, it's silly deer. Oh dear, you know what I'm saying? Forgetting entirely about the Christmas lights, you stand awkwardly in the garage. You notice that your golf clubs are shining vibrantly in the corner of the room. Let me go check those puppies out. Okay, but how many golf tees do I have? Uh, let me go check those puppies out. Shoot, it appears that your three iron is missing. Okay, where the hell's my th three iron? I could have sworn I had a three iron. Linda, where'd you put my three iron? Shut up, Roy. It's 32 degrees outside. Why are you even looking for a golf club? All right, all right, take it easy. I'll find it myself. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Indy. Indy, how could you? Oh, wait, he's looking to steal. Okay, hang on. You wonder where your club could have possibly left your three iron. You wonder where you could have possibly left your three iron. The mystery of it is haunting. Low loved bastards must be in the basement. Maybe I left it in the car. Maybe I left it in the car. You head out to the car and open the trunk. Okay, it's not here. I knew it wouldn't be here. I wonder if they build these trunks so that if you get trapped inside, you would be able to lay yourself out. Oh look! It's a bungee cord! It's basically brand new! I need that bungee cord. As you test out the bungee cord, you realize that the three iron could be in the basement. Well, you don't say. I did think that. Still curious about what would happen if someone got stuck in this trunk. Head to the basement. We're not trapping ourselves in the trunk, even though I desperately want to try that. So, yes, we're going. Whoops! Oh, jeez! You climb into the trunk and slam it shut as it, it is extremely dark. You can't see anything, and there is no safety lever for popping the trunk. Are you f flipping? Kidding me? Holy shit! I'm going to be in here forever! <laughs> oh, that's me. Somebody help! 
You begin freaking out and screaming because there is nothing else you can do. You got yourself into this situation, and you're going to get yourself out of it. Oh, there it is. I see the lever. That's pretty incredible. Honda's great company. That could save somebody's life. <laughs> it's the one, uh, yeah, it shows a person escaping. That is accurate. That's a real thing. You pull the lever and climb out of your trunk. Your cat Jefferson gives you a shameful look. Oh, that's a Jefferson voice for sure. Yeah, that's my cat. Play it off. Keep looking for your three iron. It's probably the basement. Why am I still going on about this three iron? Seriously. Oh, I'm a sports fan. Okay. You take the stairs down to the basement, hoping to find the club hiding among many others lost treasures of the past. Was that a mouse? Holy shit. Okay, wow. That's my 8-track disco collection. Hang on a second. Oh, you rip open several shoe boxes filled with 8-track tapes. Donna Summer, the Bee Gees, Anita Ward, Gloria Gaynor, even Cool and the Gang. You open the final box contained within the 8-track player itself. Plums of, plumes of dust enter your eyes, but it doesn't matter. The nostalgia is palpable. <laughs> it's okay, the nostalgia. Dust in my eyes, no big deal. Play a little Gloria, play a little Cool in the Gang, play Summer Donna. Uh, we're definitely playing Cool in the Gang. Booyah! Wow, these are great songs. You start slowly moving around. You put a little hands into it. Now here's a little bit of hips. Yeah, baby, something's doing it right. <laughs> Someone's doing it right, whatever. I feel good. This is the best I've felt in 12 years. Begin laughing. It's just so happy. Laugh with tears of joy. Twelve years. The best I felt in twelve years. What? What? You dance. You play the tape after tape. You re you relive it all. You sweat like an animal. Disco fever, baby! <laughs> Welcome back, Roy. <sighs> you clear out a space to increase the size of the dance floor. The way you can really... That way, you can really open it up. You can really swing your hips with the kids of space. You enter the dance hyper zone. Three full hours go by. I have curling tonight. I'm gonna miss that. Disco fever knows no bounds. Okay, that's enough. Cool down a little. Put on the headphones. Just getting started, baby. Crank it up! Put on the headphones. Calm it down. We have stuff to take care of. You take it easy and lay back in the old hammock that someone's left in the basement. You almost fall asleep as you listen to a few shoeboxes of disco jams. Man, I should come down. I should come down here more often. The music fades and the songs lose their sparkle, and you fall through the hammock. <laughs> what the hell is? What the hell is this made in America? You forgot what you were even doing in the basement. Go back upstairs. I mean, that golf club's not waiting for anyone. Wow, look at that. No, that's a run-on sentence. Hmm. What are you doing down there? Did you find that club you were looking for? No? Okay. I didn't find it. Maybe if you had been supportive and helped me search for it, we could have discovered it together. Or both we would have come down with disco fever, perhaps we may. Sorry. Uh, discover together and share the joy of accomplishment. Jesus Christ, what is this? An Inquisition? Couldn't find it, okay? Let's do that one. Relax, honey. I love you. Merry Christmas, okay? Okay. Well, okay. But I'm gonna find it eventually. I'm not giving up. Kids, I'm not a quitter. Okay, whatever, Roy. The guests are here, so go say hi to them. Walk into the foyer. Oh, dude, this guy looks like a winner. While you were dancing, your entire extended family arrived at your home. You almost forgot they were coming. Your in-law, Mark, approaches you swiftly. Hi, Roy. I'm gonna ask you a wild question. Strap in, Jet Fighter. Um... Okay. Or... Alright. I'm all strapped in. That's what I'm going with. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, that's the Roy I know. Okay, here it is, Hot Shot. Have you ever had... Disco Corn? Nope, man. Never will. Uh, here we go again with the freaking disco corn. Shh! Oh! Yep, two? Yep, no, that's cool. That's just whatever you want! Whatever you want, Google! Yep. Sorry, moving on. Please keep that shit away from my children. 
Nah, nah, nah. Mm. Uh, here we go again, that's what we're doing. Ah, uh, here we go again with the freaking disco corn. Whoa, easy, Jimmy Dean. It was a, just a question. No, okay? I want to hear about the disco corn. Jimmy Dean? Are you comparing me to a sausage? <laughs> sausage! Yes. Rax Roy, man! Let's just see if we can change your mind. Oh my god. I don't want anything to do with this damn disco corn. Okay, imagine some popcorn. You take those airy morsels and you coat them with guacamole paste. Then you're dunking those suckers in a thin coat of ice cream. I don't know, I don't like to close my mind to possibilities, but the flavor of that ice cream has to be strawberry. Throwing that thing in a microwave, you'll find that it pops like a. just like another piece of popcorn. Alright, I'm already grossed out. I don't want to try that, okay? Like a bottle rocket? I'm getting invested here, crap. Wrong! Well, the final product, chemically speaking, is solid. It's a crisp, beautiful, and generally, you'll be putting a toothpick through these things. Alright, okay. Nice talking to you, Mark. I gotta go to the restroom. I'll be back eventually or something. <clears throat> enough is enough. These people are too much. You go to the bathroom to collect your thoughts. Pee standing up, pee sitting down. Any updates on Facebook? Uh, any updates on Facebook? You wash your hands. The soap dispenser is empty, which pisses you off. Sorry, a little burp there. <clears throat> you dig around the cabinet under the sink and you find a small, expired bottle of poopery. Spray deodorizer. Cranberry lemonade scent. Spray it around. What a pleasant scent. Error 404 is dead problem summary. Holy Santa simulation broken. <laughs> your eyes itch and your vision gets teary. The skin on your face feels hot. Oh, jeez. Linda, I need you! <laughs> undress. Just undress. Wash your face. Wash your face. Your eyes sting. Your skin burns. Act fast. You turn on the shower and make it hot, hot, hot. Toss your clothes in there. Get in the shower. Linda opens the door. Your curious children stare. I hear these like cut and paste people faces. <laughs> no copyright images here, fools. <laughs> oh man. Uh, they see you naked and red in the shower, and their jaws drop at the sight of you moaning under the steamy jets. Linda steps away and quickly slams the door. What the hell, Roy? The milk! For God's sake, it'll soothe my skin! I burn! I'm reacting to that spray like allergies, I don't know! I'll just handle this. Just tell the children I'm sorry. <laughs> the milk! Bring me the milk! Roy, calm down. Milk won't do a thing. I need you to relax. Listen! I want Jim Burpees to get my- What? I want Jim Burpees to get my golf clubs when I die. He's a kid. He was a kid to me. He was kind to me, unlike other caddies. My life is a- that one. I know, Jim was simple, always staring. He thought the golf clubs were metal flowers, and you had to ask for the right tulip or daisy. He fucking cared that- he fucking cared though. <laughs> I already warned you children about profanity. He fucking cared though. It's so hard to find someone who actually cares about what you need. Think about your kiss with Jim. <laughs> what? <laughs> Linda turns the water cold. You yelp at Mark. <laughs> you yelp and hear Mark cackling beyond the door. Your skin feels much better. Put on Linda's bathrobe. You know I will. There's a fur on there. Let's get rid of that. The guests went home. Linda dries your hair with a towel. Hey, Roy. Let's enjoy tonight, huh? Thanks, baby. I'll be a real lamb tonight. Promise. Linda, my life, my world, my queen. Pip, 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 pip. This is how your wife affectionately giggles. <laughs> I don't know what that sounds like. I can't. I don't know what this sound is. If I had to read that in a booth, I just would like... <laughs> You're sweet, but tonight... Okay. You're sweet, but tonight... Don't hold back. I want you to ravish my body. Wow, this is getting... <laughs> you know what I'm saying, kids? <clears throat> you nod nervously, kiss her forehead, and move towards the living room. 
to watch TV. Or something, I presume. Boop. Let's see what's on TV. Las Vegas Auto Show. What the? Okay, wait. Okay. I just, I feel like I, like, I never got back to uh, putting up the lights. I feel like that's an integral part of the story here. I feel like this is all, like, hinging on that, and now it's all ruined. I think this is the only other game we're playing on. This might be its own episode here. Las Vegas Auto Show Alien Encounters. So you think you can whittle how it's made. TV hosts. Uh, let's say, uh, so you think you can whittle. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, that's a copyrighted face. That's copyrighted. Mario Lopez. Mario Lopez. Would you look at this, team? Would you look at this, team? Cut to the core. Made a wood... <laughs> Would you look at this? Team cut to the core, made a wood pig. Fantastic. A pig out of wood. Just fantastic. They're really intelligent creatures and are related to giraffes, actually. We'll go to the judges in a moment, but let's just get a closer look here. Wow. The detail. The snouts are rigid enough for digging, yet maintain a keen sense of smell used for rooting and foraging. And despite... No, no. You hold on. Ha <laughs> ha. Just one second. You hold on just one second. I don't know. Why did they put the laugh in there? Just one second. Keep that camera on me. And despite the stories and myths, they are extremely hygienic animals who rub or groom. <clears throat> Watch a different show. <laughs> Tino. My kid's name is Tino. That's great choice. This man has made some great life choices. He is truly a Christmas dad. Tino jumps on your lap. He's getting heavy for a six-year-old. A booger dangles from his nose. What up, kiddo? I wish to address my accidental visualization of your genitals, father. Huh. What you talking about, tiger? I would rather you not play dumb with me I want to tackle this potential source of tension before it develops further. That said, rest assured that I did not see much. This little bastard thinks I have a small dingle. Go to your room, Tino. <laughs> Do you want to uh, have the talk now or pretend you're sleeping? Pretend you're sleeping. You know what? Let's, let's talk it out. <clears throat> Tino shrugs. Allow me a pre-dinner Oreo, father. <laughs> Go ahead, buddy. Error 404, dead problem, summary, holy Santa, simulator, broke smash, nap, nap. You are no match for the velvety softness of the bathrobe. You doze off. Welcome, traveler, to the place of the Oreo King. Roy, these fucking numbers are wrong. Give me a good reason I shouldn't fire your useless ass. Melville High School, 1979, Sarah Glendon. You want to, I don't know, meet me by the bleachers during lunch or something? That last one's tempting. You all know that Sarah Glendon was the hottest girl in school. Her 80s haircut. Oh, her pre-80s haircut. It's 79. Uh -huh. There we go. Got it. Welcome, traveler, to the Palace of the Oreo King. Okay, we're going to... Palace of the Oreo King. Boom. <laughs> oh my god, this is so good. Play it cool, Roy. Bow, appreciate the cookies, Regency. Do you not make w do not make one false move. He has beheaded travelers for much less. You sneeze loudly. <laughs> Bless you. His voice is dominating and chocolatey. You have arrived at a suspicious time. The Snack Rebellion rages, and the Duke of Nutter Butter has gained ground in the East. State your business, my Nabisco, in my Nabisco Empire. I'm a humble sugar merchant, my... <laughs> I'm a humble... Sh <laughs> uh, I'm, a, I'm but a humble sugar merchant. My mule, Herman, is laden with the finest powdered sugars from the Pixie Stick Forest. I offer you my own... I offer my own to you, good king. Hmm. Guards, let him approach. You bow and move past two powerful teddy grams. <laughs> the Oreo King extends his delicious chocolatey pinky to you. A beautiful ring pop 
jeweled upon it. Look at this Nabisco. Like, this is straight up. This is just, this is turned into Christmas Dad Simulator to Nabisco Oreo Advertiser. Well played. Now! Yeehaw! <laughs> yes, Herman! <laughs> you jump the Oreo King and begin feasting upon his cookie flesh. Herman bursts through the palace door and brays mightily as he charges the guard. The king yells, guttural, des guttural, yells a de- yells, The king yells a guttural, desperate yell as you take fistfuls of cream into your mouth. Bad time, bad time, bad time. Pick a different dream. Pick a different dream. Yes, we are picking a different dream. Oh, I'm going to Melville High School, 1979. Sarah Glendon, you'll be mine in my dreams. Literally, in my dreams. It'll just be in my dreams. You remove your shades and run your tongue across your teeth. I didn't have shades room. Sorry. Groovy. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, I'm saying this. Groovy, Sarah. Yeah, totally groovy. Movie for shoovy. <laughs> yeah. You skip class and smoke a pack under at the bleachers. Sarah's walking towards you right on time. She has a nervous smile and her cheeks are reddened as she gets close. Oh, this is getting hot. Wowza, Babadoo, what a cutie. You look like... <laughs> What's a cutie like you got on your mind, huh? Something sweet, like a little sugar? Ha <laughs> mm, ha, honey, all right, yeah. So, that's exactly what I wanted to talk to you about. Roy, you're losing friends. You're so creepy. Why would you think it's okay to lick your teeth at me? Or anyone? And what is... Alright, yeah. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Kiss her. <laughs> yes! You pucker your lips and make a kissy noise as you move lower your... As you, as you, as you lower your lips, she knees you in the crotch and runs away. You crumple to the ground in sheer agony and watch her pigtails dance. Pick a different dream. One more dream. Roy, these fucking numbers are wrong. Give me one good reason I shouldn't fire your useless ass. That can't be happening, especially on your birthday. How did the ex expenditure tracking system get fudged? Who ordered all these manila folders? I, I, uh, I. I, I, uh, I, uh, just shit myself. Fuck, Roy. Give me a goddamn answer, you goose pimple turd. Wow, this boss is a dildo, and they didn't make it clear that it was a boss at first because there was no quotation marks. But whatever, we'll move along. I'll give you a reason, Mr. Thompson. You punch him in the face with both your fists at the same time. Bah! That's how you do it, kids. You double fist him. Oh, no! Oh, no! What have we done? He falls to the ground. He smiles at you, licks the blood from his lips. He rips his shirt off to reveal a supremely muscular physique. HR can't save you now, Roy! Save me! I always did my ergonomic exercises, Mr. Thompson. You rip off your shirt. Happy holidays, Roy. Your body is flabby and loose from years of leftover lasagna and desk work. Your pecs sag, and the amount of hair on your chest and shoulders is confusing. You assume the fetal position. Wow. Well, that was disappointing. Bedtime, bedtime, bedtime. Bedtime, honey. It's bedtime. You slept through dinner, you big oaf. You big goof. I didn't have the heart to wake you, but lucky us, the kids are in bed. You bat your eyes at your lovely wife, and she smiles sheepishly. Let's hit the hay then. Wubba lubba dub dub. I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. So soon? Linda puts a bow on her head. She begins to gyrate, sort of. I hope you won't leave this... Naughty gift unwrapped. Yum, 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 yum. It's a Christmas morning, and I'm the fruitcake baby. That sounds like something this guy would say, totally. Ho, ho, ho! You're dirty like a 
What the hell is that you put in your stockings? No, not candy canes. Those aren't dirty. I mean the other thing. No, not dust bunnies. Oh, oh, right. Coal. Well, all right then. Um, I feel like this is getting real inappropriate. You guys cover your eyes for a minute, kids. Uh, it's Christmas morning and I'm fruitcake, baby. Uh, we're going with this last one. Cool. Way to go, Roy. You've basically promised her a universe of pleasure. Ugh. Your record is 89 seconds for Pete's sake. That's not even enough time to microwave a Hot Pocket, which you could really eat right now. You're starving. You know, because, well, I slept through dinner. Hmm. How about a midnight snack first? A little tummy action for the yummy action. Linda straddles your lap and begins kissing your neck. Don't hold back, you true. Don't hold back your true desires. Cave in, confess to her your true desires. Linda, God, I'm stressed out, hungry, and absolutely exhausted from a disco fever earlier. Yes, Linda. I traveled to the dance hyper zone where I met the Anubis where I met Anu where I met the Anubis again. I'm pretty sure Tino saw my junk and maybe even made fun of it. And please don't be surprised if I double fist punch Mark in the face the next time I see him. And I know I'm not easy to deal with, and believe me, it feels ridiculous being me. Absolutely ridiculous. I'm pretty sure I word vomited half of everything I say. And who spends hours looking for a damn three iron? So waking up just now in a bathrobe smelling like expired perfume, freshly confused from a series of weird dreams, mind reacting about how the hell I can give you the pleasure you deserve, and then seeing you, well, I start to think I'm fine. I start to think that I'm the most ridiculously fortunate goof to inhabit the disco ball in space. I'm anxious, I'm scared, and doubtful, and weird, and lost, without a map, and you bring me home! You ground everything! So you want to know my true desire? It's the simplest. I freaking love you, Linda. Kiss her already. Blah, 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 blah. Wait, what? Linda does the cute thing where she sniffles a million times before she cries. You kiss her forehead and hold her close, curling up on the couch. She holds your hand tightly. What? 3.18 a.m.? You wake up and carefully, slowly, smoothly move over Linda and leave her sleeping on the couch. She curls up and shivers. Get a blanket. <laughs> Get a blanket. Take that, Linda, you hottie boomalotti. With a rocking body. I'll fill your stocking later. You take off her off your bathrobe and drape it over her. Tip toe, tip tip toe, sneaking away with the tip tip toes. Okay, seriously, another ad placement, dude. This ooh ooh, I got 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 got. This is this is taking forever. I'm so sorry, guys, but we're playing through this whole thing. It's Christmas for crying out loud. It may be the only video I post. Naked in the kitchen, you grab some. <laughs> orange juice from the refrigerator and scrounge around the pantry for Pringles. Bingo bajingo! There she is. You shove a small stack of chips into your mouth and lean against the counter. And nothing more satisfying than a crunch of like eight chips and they just make a mess everywhere. It's delicious. Delightful, delicious, amazing. And then you realize it. And then you realize it and smile. Somehow, this, all of this is exactly what you wanted. Merry Christmas, Roy. Merry freaking Christmas. Go back to the beginning, watch a different TV show, pick a different dream. Cool! Back to the beginning. Alright. So, that's that. Wow, that went on forever. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, leave me a comment, check out my Instagram because, well, I'm gonna be posting pretty stupid stuff up there. And if you enjoyed this, hopefully you'll enjoy that. We'll see what happens. Game over. Goodbye. And happy holidays.